I shared with you the four different categories I look at to help clients do a resourcing plan, but I want to share with you my actual method, like the way that I view healing. Um, I go over this with my clients, but I don't think I've actually talked about that in a video. So let's dive in. I consider there to be five stages of healing. And when we understand that we have stages of it and can allow ourselves to just focus on one stage at a time, can make everything feel a lot simpler and less intense. Not that there's not going to be difficulty, not that there's not going to be time taken to do this, but just so that it doesn't feel like this big overwhelming undertaking, right? If we break it up into parts, then it's easier. So for me, stage one is the resourcing stage. This is the most important to me because without understanding what you need to feel calm, regulated, relaxed, and what you need to help face your emotions in the problem. The second phase to me is the discovery slash recovery phase. This is where a lot of people go into shutdown because they haven't done the first phase. And also, this is where we're starting to pinpoint, okay, this is the issue, this is the problem I have, this is where it comes from, this is the subconscious part or subconscious parts that are attached to upholding this problem and issue. This is where we figure out all of this information. This is usually once we're out of trauma and we have figured out, you know, a it. <laughs> we have experienced hard times. Next phase to me is the integration phase. This is where we take all of this information, take all the processes we've used for resourcing and figure out what these parts of us need to step back and allow us to create new beliefs and new patterns so that we stop dealing with the same problems and issues. From there, we go into the expansion phase. This is where we actually implement new beliefs and we can utilize those resourcing skills and how they work for us to implement action steps so that you actually make changes in your life instead of continuing to deal with the same problems anymore. From there is the mastery phase, which is where you've developed enough self-awareness and the skills so that any tweaks that you need to make is a little bit easier for you to make and you're able to deal with any other problems that keep coming up for you or that you're still dealing with. If that's something that you really want support with, um, my program Reclaiming Me starts on August 1st. There's only 12 people in it, so it's super intimate. You're going to get a lot of coaching support. Or you can check out one-on-one -on -one because I have some very special offers for that. If you go check that out, you know where to find that information. And I'm taking on new clients right now. So check those out, ask any questions you have, but I hope that this helps you understand the process a little bit better so it doesn't feel so daunting and overwhelming.